Hello, welcome to another Used and Reviews video. Uh, this video today is about the red back um, knee cushions, knee pads, whichever you want to use, whatever you want to call them. Okay, these are for people who are on their knees a lot during work. So these are supplied, if I'm not mistaken, by McAlpine in the UK. I've had these for approximately a month. Um, the cushions themselves, I'll just take them out. They're very easy to remove. These are the ones for um, when you're actually wearing um, shorts. Look at that. So it's easy to remove and the zip's got stuck. There you go. Um, I wear shorts a lot when I'm working. So I do wear knee pads all the time. Um, that's the inner cell, if you would like, to, if that's what you'd like to call it. Okay, that's the actual support. Um, I'll try and be as quick with this video as I possibly can. These cells are absolutely brilliant, comfortable. I don't think I've worn a pad that's as comfortable as this pad. Okay, brilliant. That pad itself, you can actually buy these pads separately to put into your work trousers in the pockets on the knees. Okay, these pads themselves range from, um, I think I've seen them for about 35, 38 pound, right the way up to 65 quid. And that's these, okay? Not just this bit, the pads themselves. Now, so remember, these are the only, these are the ones I use when I'm wearing shorts, okay? So these are wrap around, these bits here have got Velcro on them and wrap around your legs, okay? This is the internal pad. These are removable on these so that you can actually wash um, the actual body of the pad. So you see these are filthy at the moment, but you can take these pads out, throw these into the washing machine, give them a good wash. Now, that aside, as I said, this is the cell. Okay, you can see how flexible these um, pads are. They are really flexible. I've knelt on nails uh, with these and haven't felt them. Okay, they're not hard fronted ones, but they're really comfortable, brilliant, can't fault them. What I can fault is these things. I'm not too sure about the manufacturer. I'm, I'm, I've read up on the manufacturer they're made in the USA. Okay. These are Velcro strips. I don't know who it is who designed these Velcro strips, but they are bloody useless. You can already see that these Velcro strips on these ones are starting to deform. If I just show you that, you can see these strands of elastic snapping out of the actual body of the stretchy elastic backs. These Velcro strips rub your legs raw, okay? These sharp corners, these rough edges, they rub the backs of your legs raw. They don't tighten up enough to stay on your legs. They're constantly falling down. And to make matters worse, sorry, I went out of shot a little bit. I'll just put that pack back down. Um, this is one with the pad still in, okay? As you can see, these are quite bulky, all right? When you're climbing up a ladder with these on and you've got shorts on, they stick out quite a long way. You find that you're constantly catching your knees on the actual ladder rung and they get pulled down. They get pulled off the, um, this bit fastens on the top of your leg, okay, just above your knee, okay? This bottom bit where the zip is, okay? This fastens just around the top of your calf, okay? Just under your knee. Now, I have to take them off quite regularly because they rub your legs raw. Uh, they may fit better for people who've got legs like tree trunks. I haven't. I'm not a big bloke. Um, I would imagine anybody who's got quite a thick set legs will probably find these great. But the way they set out the, um, the Velcro is really poor. The Velcro's 
quite sharp on the back of your legs, as I said. This bit there, really uncomfortable. And as I've said, this, the Velcro strips and the actual straps that go around your leg are actually starting to deteriorate to the point where there is the elastic, it's all snapping. These, if they carry on, will be going back because they're starting to fall down now. They don't stay on properly. You can see that the, the actual strap is starting to fray. It's becoming all fluffy. Okay, but as far as comfort, absolutely brilliant. I don't know who came up with this lattice idea, but it's brilliant, great. Can't feel a thing. Um, you can see I'm pressing on them. I'm 14 stone or thereabouts, slightly over. When I kneel on these pads, they, there's no give. They do not collapse. I'm not kneeling on them and feeling bricks or concrete or anything else. And I do a lot of work on my knees as I'm a plumbing and an engineer. Uh, for the price, I would expect these straps and this to have been designed uh, to be a hell of a lot more comfortable. These are way too thin, these strips. And this bit here is like rubbing sandpaper on the backs of your legs. To give you an idea, I bought these pads. I think these, I'm not sure if they're Chinese or something like that. I bought these pads three years ago. I've used them pretty much every day. The only thing is they're not wash. They are washable, but you can't take the pads out because they're hard fronted. But, um, I've worn those, so, I mean, I, these absolutely stink. You know, when you're working in them in hot weather, I paid about 25 quid, 23 quid for these. The straps are a lot thicker, okay? I'll compare them to the strap on these red backs. You can see the difference in the strap, okay? These are a lot more comfortable to wear. Uh, and as I said, they're probably half the price. Um, they are hard fronted, but the, the gel ones, they are extremely comfortable, but they stink and they are washable. But the Velcro hasn't been changed in three years and they're still going strong. So whoever designed these for Redback, um, you either haven't worked where you're standing, uh, kneeling down all the time, um, and I've had to put up with these on all day. Um, or if you did, you weren't using them properly. I'll just show you. Can you see the strands all snapping? Okay. Any more of those strap, the elastic's going to be gone out of that. Okay. You can see that they'll stretch as you're bending down. These edges are like sandpaper. All right. So those are the red backs, red back, red backs cushioning knee pads. All right. Also, they put uh, tags on the side of them. Okay, I've had to cut the tags. These are slightly shorter at the moment. They were about that, probably about that long. The amount of times that I've had these ripped off my legs because that tag has caught itself on a nail or some such and has pulled the the um, pads right off my legs. I don't know who it is who's designing these, but you really need to take a look at what it is that you're doing. There is a hole there. Can you see the hole? I don't know if you can. That was a nail that's gone through. I didn't feel it. Didn't even realize I was kneeling on it. For between, <laughs> off the top of my head, I think these are probably about late thirties up to, like I said, about 60 odd quid. Are they worth it? The actual pad itself, the actual cell, great, yeah. You can buy these separately for knee pads in the trousers, as I said, but on a, as a whole, these things are not designed properly and these will be going back if they continue to snap and become loose. I'll show you again. Okay, see them starting to fray. You can see and I've only worn these for a month. Okay. I haven't had a chance to wash them. But you can see, can you see this here? That's quite stiff. Really quite sharp. They rub your legs raw. 
So that's the red back cushion in knee pads, okay? You have to decide whether or not you want to pay that kind of money for knee pads that are uncomfortable. As far as the ones, the cells and the trousers, if you get a chance to buy them, buy them. They're bloody brilliant. Really good, really good. I can't say enough, I can't praise these enough. If you're wearing trousers all year, all through the year, I don't. But if you do and you want some pads in your trousers, these, get them. You won't find a pad that's as, co as comfortable as that. I'm telling you, I've had dozens of pairs of pads, dozens. These are hands down the most comfortable ones I've ever worn. But the bodies, these things, I'll push that into shot. Them things, don't bother. Don't rate them at all. Very poorly designed. Great idea, but poorly executed. I hope that helps. I hope that saves you some money. These are in the 20s, I think, 20 odd pound, I think, for the trousers. Good luck looking for them, but you, you will find them online. Local plumbers, merchants, McAlpine uh, are, are pushing them for Redback, a US company. Okay, hope that helps. I hope that saves you some money.